thank you very much ms leena nandan for this uh, wonderful presentation on lifestyle for environment we greatly appreciate your perspective uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, the new delhi leaders summit held on 9th and 10th september achieved a very unanimous consensus on close to over 100 outcomes and 83 different paras despite a polarized world despite all challenges the leaders arrived at a consensus on all key developmental and geopolitical issues one of the key issue on which consensus was arrived at was the lifestyle for environment the life approach ladies and gentlemen the development models of the last 100 years have driven unsustainable consum consumption patterns and carbon intensive activities and economic growth has taken place at huge cost to the planet it is now increasingly becoming clear that if we do not protect the planet and its natural resources development and growth will also come to a grinding halt we would have destroyed or permanently damaged our ecosystems and the while the earth may survive we as human beings will all go extinct and therefore to address this challenge our prime minister had put forward his vision of anchoring actions on the individual level of lifestyle for environment that is we all must become pro planet people that we should have a profound impact on our planet we should ensure that we are able to grow while ensuring sustainability and as was said it's important that it's not merely countries but individuals who will make a huge difference and by their behavior drive climate action and make a shift towards sustainable lifestyle it lays emphasis on nudging individuals to adopt sustainable lifestyle it also aims to promote behaviorally informed decisions which focus on influencing the behavior of key stakeholders including businesses the adoption of the high level principles of life at g20 has ensured that all countries will take this forward all g20 countries will take the high level principles forward for implementation this will enable the world to embrace sustainable production and consumption patterns and mainstream lifestyle for sustainable development life is now an integral part of the ambitious green development pact that was adopted a report released this year by international energy authority has highlighted that life actions including behavioral changes and sustainable consumer choices if adopted worldwide would reduce global co2 emissions by more than 2 billion tons in 2030 this is almost one fifth of the emissions reduction needed by 2030 to put the world on the pathway towards net zero emissions ladies and gentlemen it's important that we take this approach forward because it's important that we are able to push our choices towards sustainability we become we are able to grow and industrialize without carbonizing the world we are able to provide a huge last mile to achieve sustainable development we are able to provide a strong political imp impetus through ambitious actions for achieving development environment and climate goal we are able to support creation of a sustainable ecosystem and mainstream sustainability of all components and all aspects of the economy ladies and gentlemen uh this means that it is a call for all of us to become pro planet people by becoming climate by adopting climate friendly behavior as 
a citizen this is important as an entrepreneur it is a call for technological ideas that can make climate friendly behaviors easier to adopt to all the thinkers researchers it is a call for research innovations on how to make climate consciousness a way of life this has been a part of ancient india it has been a part of our rigveda our yajur veda and our charak samhita which speaks of trees stopping pollution of not disturbing the sky and the importance of forest to the strength of the state it is important to highlight that our bhagavad gita states that let the human community protect the environment for their own survival and therefore there is a need for a call for action ladies and gentlemen parliamentarians are at the heart of democracy and parliamentarians have an integral role when it comes to life approach that seeks to democratize the battle against climate change by keeping human beings at the center of climate action and parliamentarians can push the boundaries of what can be achieved politically mps can use their legislative power to incorporate elements of life into the various laws and policies being drafted they can use their power for resources to support life approaches parliamentarians are empowered to enact laws and develop policies that facilitate the redirection of public expenditure and therefore their the use of their power of discourse to spread the life approach in their constituencies is critical through parliament 20 we look forward to enhancing coordination for collective international action on life and therefore today's discussion of g20 parliamentary forum on life is both critical and important we will now start with interventions and may i now request his excellency mr duarte pacheco the ipu president to kindly give us his world view thank you very much